This is a website with a video widget. People use video widget on their website because they don't slow down the loading of their website. And the good thing about our video widget is that this is interactive. So if you want to learn how to make it, make sure you keep on watching because I'll show you how to do that in this video. Hi, I'm Bia from Sherlo. Sherlo creates the best interactive video. So if you want to have more high engagement on your website, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now there might be a few reasons why you want to put a video widget on your website. First, it creates a more interactive experience for visitors and makes them feel more involved in your website. Second, video widgets can be used to help drive traffic to your website as visitors may be more likely to watch the video than read a long article. Third, reduce the bounce rate of the website. Once your users are engaged on the website and interested in your content, they would increase their stay in your website and they would return and reduce the bounce rate of your website. But whatever reasons you have, I'm going to show you how to make a video widget using Sherlo. You can check www.sherloapp.com. Right now, we're going to be using Sherlo to make the video widget. Um, this app is good because this is very convenient. It is not just um, using video if you will check the integration, but you can also use um, different kinds of forms, slides, scheduling like Calendly and, um, and many more. So even social media like Instagram, you can even use that here. So now I'm on the website right now and I'll just log in here, but Sherlo is uh, free so you can try it. But since I have already an account logged in here, I'll just click log in. So here you can see the stories and you can even see the analytics. So you can even see how many people views the near stories. So that is very, very convenient. So right now we're going to be starting to make the stories. Our, our stories is, let's start here. So what I'm going to be have in mind to make the with the widget is that we will make a tour. So there's, there will be a person asking the people what they wanted to see in the school so since there are different kinds of facilities so they will be choosing which part they wanted to see so at first we're gonna be um putting the title here so since it is a tour i'm gonna put university tour here as a as a title and then i'm gonna put the intro since there will be an introduction first and since it's a video i'm gonna add video here and then i will create and then i'm gonna upload the video here so you can record that's very convenient you can directly record here or select a video and then upload here okay so i'll just upload since i haven't uploaded anything here yet so i'll just gonna go to the documents and then i will put the intro here And then I will upload. Okay, so now I have already uploaded my video widget. And then I'm gonna check interactive. Because if it's ordered um, one by one, it will show which one first, right? So since I wanted to choose something, like people can choose anything here i'm gonna put interact I, i'm gonna click this interactive here and then i will add the choices now so since i want to see show the social the science lab i'm gonna put science lab here and then i will be uploading the video for that so i will just click create and then i will upload and change here and then the science lab is here. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to add another one, which is a classroom. 
and then I will, I'm not going to embed a video, right? I mean, anything. So I'll just choose video. But anyway, if you wanted, you have a link like Calendly, you can add it here in the embed. And if you have PDF, you can upload it here. So I'll just create it here. Click this create. And then I'm going to upload again. And then the classroom. And then upload again. And that's it. And another one will be the library. So I'll go to video and then create again. And then upload again. Same thing what we're doing. So it's very easy. okay so since we want to make it interactive i'll go to intro again and since this is the initial video that they will see i will go to interaction so these are the choices so you can choose how many seconds you want to show it afterwards so five seconds is okay and then I will put the science lab here. This is what we will see. But by the way, since I have a question already, I'm already asking my viewers, I don't want to put anything here. But if you want to ask something like, you know, anything, which one do you like, you can put it here. But I'd, I want to leave it blank here. And then I will select the science lab here. And then I will add another one. So I will choose classroom. And then I will select again the classroom. And then I will see library. I want to show library too. And then select the library from here. Okay. And then that's it. So I can just copy the link it shows so let's just get rid of the voice so that's it they can already choose which one they wanted to see so if i will be clicking science lab they will go to the video of science lab since this is a short video they can only see a few things but you can add anything like after this you can add another choices too or forms so that's it so anyway we will continue since our video budget is ready we're going to move now to the wordpress now that we finish our floating widget using shallow we're going to start including it or putting it on our wordpress website so here we're going to click the add to website and then we're gonna click live so that it's gonna be shown on the website and then we will click the copy. I mean, we will copy our code here. Don't forget that we need the floating widget, not the embed code, okay? And then we will go to our WordPress and then click plugins. And then we need to add new. Click add new. And then we will add w p code and then here is the logo of wp code and then we will click install and then once ready we will activate and then we will see this code snippet and then we will go to head and footer and then here on the header part we will paste it here the code and then once you pasted it we will save changes okay that's all it's very easy so now that we have finished pasting and then saving all the codes here Let's try to check if it's working. 
let's go to our website. So there, you can see that our floating widget is working properly. And if we will check this one. It's working properly. So it's very easy. You don't need to code at all. And if you want to learn how to integrate a video widget on a React website, I'll make sure I link that on the description below. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.